All right, in this video, we are going to look at how to uh, tap on an RSS feed, for example. Um, it's kind of a follow up to my RSS videos, but you know, you have your RSS feeds, and I had this set to touch, and it'll pull the website this is coming from. So if I tap on that, it should open up the website talking about that iPhone thing. And uh, boom, there you go. So, you know, let's do another one and let's go to a totally different topic. So if I go over to like science and, uh, I mean, go scroll through your feeds. Okay, so a ghost-like octopod is almost certainly a new species. So tapping on that, it should pull that website. Boom, there you go. And um, I don't... I'm not sure if this was something that's been in KLP all along, but it definitely was a request, and I'm happy that I, I looked into this a little bit more. It's not really that bad or that hard to apply to your touch either. So let's go ahead and have a look at KLWP, and I'll show you how to do this. Now, watch my RSS feed videos on how to set up your RSS feeds, but uh, basically I'm going to go and find where, where do I have it at? Right here. Here, I think and let's see yep okay so here's my text and I have my code for my RSS uh, blah, blah 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 and basically however you have your RSS set up take this whole thing copy it and the only thing we're going to have to change in here if I scroll down through um, we can barely see these things out here but WG um, that's where you can do your RSS stuff, and let me find the right one. Okay, that's the title description. Um, RSS count title description. Here it is. Boom. So get RSS feed link for entry zero. But basically, um, it, the only thing we have to change is this last word. Um, title, you know, how we have title or whatever you have, description, or these other things that you have in here. The, all these codes are the same. Look at those two codes right there. They're the same with the exception for DESC for description and link for, you know, link. So um, copy all of your stuff for your RSS code. This is how I did it at least. And then go back, go to touch, or wherever you want to touch to open it. Basically, I'm going to touch those words that you saw a moment ago. And go over to touch for that and go to open link. And just paste all that stuff. So this is the exact same code that I just showed you a moment ago. But now, um, come in here wherever you had like description or title. Um, notice I've changed them to link. So there's link, uh, there's link, there's link. And these used to say title or, or you, yours might say description. But that's all you have to do is change that word. And bam, I mean, as you can see, it does have a link up here. And it's going to open that link. So nonetheless, I mean, I don't even have to say this because I didn't change anything, but that's all you have to do there. Uh, and it'll pull up, so if we go to a different title, Sports, um, 2016 WGC Cadillac, Ch or Cadillac Championship Golf. So boom, touching on that, and let's see if it pulls up that one. There you go, Golf, bam, great. Um, very easy fix there. I don't know if that's been in KOP all along, but nonetheless, it's there now and it works great as you can see here. Now, what I have noticed from time to time, you'll click on it and it might not open that link up. It might say something uh, not found, but as you can see here, I've showed you three of them and boom, I mean, they're pulling them right up. So, um, very nice feature in my opinion. Uh, easy fix too. But there you have it. That's how you can open an RSS link in uh, KOWP. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.